Hey guys and welcome you to my new video. I'm Pascal and this video is about a trip to Nusa Lembongan, Senengan and the awesome Nusa Penida. And yes, there is already a video of that on my channel. It's about Lembongan and um, Senengan only, but it's in German language and it was last year with another equipment and stuff. And it was my first time here, so I didn't really know um, what will happen and what we will see. So now I know a bit more and I think I can do a much better video and of course a bit longer, maybe I think 15 minutes or something so that I can show more of this beauty of this awesome islands here. And I'm very excited actually for Nusa Penida because Penida, what, what I've seen so far on YouTube and with some pictures and stuff, it's just incredible and I've never been there before too. So I hope to go there maybe tomorrow or the day after. It depends when I get my dive because I also want to dive here. New Zalembongan is an amazing point for diving and snorkeling. So you should definitely do that when you're here. And it can be quite hard to get um, a dive here because especially in high season when a lot of people are here, um, all the dive schools are booked out. So yeah, I hope to get a dive tomorrow. If not, I go to Penida tomorrow. If not then I will hope to get my dive on Monday. Otherwise, yeah, we go to Pinita on Monday. So, and I just arrived here, had a 30 minute trip with a speedboat from Bali. And I actually took a grab the first time today to get to Sanur, to the pier where the ferry starts. Yeah, and it was very fast too. I think it took the driver 45 minutes just from Shangu. It's not that much, it wasn't much traffic. And I just paid 58, no, 85 thousand uh, rupiah which is really not much money um, I don't know how much it is in dollars or something now but it's definitely under 10 so um, pretty cheap actually would anyone recommend better you use grab or an uber or something instead of taxi drivers there's a big fight actually between the taxi drivers and uber and stuff so yeah I'm definitely on the uber side there and yeah, so just for a recommendation to go here, just drive to Sanur, take a ferry there and go here. Don't do it at your hotel and stuff. They want to charge you 500,000 uh, rupiah, which is a lot too expensive. You can actually get the ferry much cheaper because you can, you mustn't take a speedboat. You can take a normal ferry, which just costs 100,000 rupiah. It's a lot cheaper. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it takes, I think one or one and a half hours. So it's not that nice. And I decided to take a speedboat. Yeah. Now I will meet some friends at the beach. We'll have breakfast together. And then we will go to the amazing blue lagoon here on Nusa Senengan and explore the islands a bit. I hope you have fun and see a lot of nice stuff here. And I hope you visit this amazing place here. It looks like there are not much helmets here on Nusa Lemongan. I asked for a helmet, but he said, oh, no one has helmet here because uh, there's no police on this island. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's, it's very funny here, yeah. But I would say, here yeah, you don't drive so fast, so a helmet is not that important here on this island. So we just arrived here at the Devil's Tier on Nusa Lembongan. Of course I didn't wear a helmet, the wind destroyed my hair a bit. <laughs> so I look like shit now, but therefore this place looks uh, very awesome. And yeah, it comes, it comes a bit close to the Blue Lagoon in Nusa Senengan, but it, it's not that nice. Still. The Blue Lagoon is a bit better, but I would recommend everyone to go here. It's, it's very nice. It's a bit hard to find actually, because you, you have to go off the pass. There are not big streets or something anymore so it's very hard to find and Google shows some streets that doesn't exist in reality but keep looking around a bit after 20 minutes or something or less you have it Devil's Tears. Now we're going to Nusa Senengan over the yellow bridge. Hope it doesn't crash today. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll see the Blue Lagoon then and check out some other places. Woo! 
The jump was very nice, but then when you're down there, there is a strong current and the waves came. So at first when I came up, the current pushed me back into the ocean and I felt, fuck, I, I need, to, need to move forward and go closer to the rock to grab something. But then a wave pushed me inside and I, suddenly I was inside the lagoon here. So that, that, was, that was very good. I was very lucky then. And yeah, then when I, so you need to swim around the, the rock, that's why I say that. And then when I wanted to grab the rock to finally climb up, the next uh, current came and, and pushed me back and I need to grab it and, and um, hold to get up. And then the wave came and pushed me back in again. So it was quite hard. My arms hurt a bit actually. I, maybe I should uh, do more workouts, yeah. But it's, it's very nice, it makes a lot of fun even if you it's challenging so do it yeah it's amazing here and it's such a beautiful place so when you want to do cliff uh, jumping in one place and do it here A bit further here we are at the driftwood bar you see that behind me here have a nice pool you get served some beer and also some food directly at the pool it's amazing and you have this awesome nice view here like you can see behind me so it's definitely a good place after cliff jumping and enjoying the day to end the day get some beer and just have fun yeah so we see you uh, see you tomorrow then tomorrow i'm not sure what we will do maybe we go diving i hope so the first school i asked is full already so i will ask some other ones and if not i just book a trip to penida and then we will have an awesome day there right hey guys good morning this is the second day of my trip here to nusa lembongan yesterday was amazing but i forgot to talk about one topic and that is the difference between the mavic pro and the Phantom 4 Pro when it comes to high wind. And everyone knows the Mavic Pro is a very small drone. It's pretty flat and it acts a bit like a sports car, I would say. So the wind goes around it pretty easily because it's so flat. And in the Phantom, there's enough surface to, to catch all the wind. And that was kind of a problem yesterday because there was so much wind um, where we've been and it was a pain in the ass to fly this drone so it was very crazy especially when i was lower to the ground um, in some some tight spaces where the wind um, went through that was very hard to fly the drone and to even get good shots so it was nearly uh, impossible so yeah some shots i couldn't make at all and yeah that, it was just crazy so definitely when you film with high wind and you have the mavic pro you have both drones go for the mavic pro it's a better drone in my opinion for high wind situations but anyway so yesterday i was able to get a dive so awesome i wrote some companies here on the internet um, here from new zealand Mongan, some dive centers and there were already um, dive centers booked out so i had luck to find one so today we will go to the manta point and the crystal bay i think 
They will take me in 10 minutes or stuff and yeah, then we go there. I hope this will be an amazing day and I hope to see Manta. So much people see Mantas here at the moment. So I think there's a high chance to see them today. I hope that. And otherwise some other friends saw dolphins last year and I hope to see it too. It's, it's pretty unlikely, but yeah, maybe we have luck. Then so I would say let's start the day and see um, yeah, what, what the ocean brings us, yeah. <laughs> so just arrived here at the diving shop. It's, I have to remind myself of all the stuff. Uh, I didn't dive for a longer time and uh, it's, you forget it so fast. So actually yesterday in, in the evening I learned again all the hand signs and the stuff so that I don't forget what, uh, what everything means when I'm under the water, that could be a big problem, so yeah, always make sure you, you keep everything in your mind before you do a dive after a long time, yeah. Now we figured out my sizes and stuff, and I actually I'm thinking a bit about my weights, what, what weights I use, and yeah, then we will enter the boat soon, I hope. So we arrived at the second spot here. First one, we didn't see the mantas while diving, but later on with all the snorkelers out there, we saw the mantas. It was quite hard because we didn't have snorkel equipment, just a mask. And so we had to snorkel without snorkels. That was crazy. But I got a lot of nice shots from the mantas. It was awesome. Also, the dive side didn't seem too bad. I think when the mantas are there, it's pretty nice. And now we will see the crystal bay here. I think this will be awesome. I think I was snorkeling here last uh, year. So this should be a nice side, yeah?